Okay, let's try this question on bond energies. It's a calculation here. It says figure two shows a displayed formula equation for a reaction. And we've got a table with all the bond energies for each type of bond given. And it says to calculate the overall energy change. Overall energy change is calculated by adding up all the bonds in the reactants and subtracting all the bonds in the products from it. So let's try that out. Remember, if you keep your calculation and your working out organized, these types of questions can be quite straightforward. So let's start off with the reactants here on the left hand side. The first type of bond we have are N to H bonds, which are 391 kilojoules per mole. Let's count how many we have here. We've got one, two, three. So we can do three times 391, but we have a big four in front of that. So don't forget that big four there tells us we've got four lots of three. So we multiply that by four. That's the NH bonds done. Next, we have our OO double bond here. We've got one of those, but we have a big three in front. So we've actually got three OO bonds. So that's going to be four, nine, eight times by three. And we're gonna add that on to what we got for the NHs. And putting that into a calculator gives you an answer of 6186 kilojoules per mole. That's the reactants done. We need to do the same for products now. So first thing we've got in products are the NN bonds, the N triple bond N. That is 945 each, 945 kilojoules per mole. We've got two lots of them. So we do two times 945, that's the N triple bond N done. And finally, we've got OHs here. Let's count these carefully. We've got two lots of OHs. So that's going to be two times 464, but we have a big six in front. So we need to multiply that whole thing by six. All of that gives you an answer of 7458 kilojoules per mole. Now to get our overall energy change, we just subtract these two values. So that's going to be 6186 minus 7458. And that gives a final answer of minus 1272 kilojoules per mole.